to another episode of Cooking with the Charleses. This week, you're in for a treat. My mom is making bouillon, which is a Haitian beef stew. It's delicious. You're going to love it. Right now, she has the beef. It's bone in. She had the butcher cube it up. She's already added the salt and the lime to it. And now she's rinsing them off and cleaning them to her liking to prepare for the next step, which is the hot water. We'll see you in a minute. Here's the finished cleaned meat. Now my mom is going to add the hot water um, just to help tenderize the meat and help with cooking. So let's just wait for her to add that hot water. Ooh, there we go. Ah, the steam. It's going to be good. You don't have to leave the meat in there too long. You just put the water on there, wait a, a few seconds, and then start taking the, um, the meat off, okay? Now, mom's going in like the pro she is and taking the beef out of the hot water for us here. Thank you, mom. This is about two to three pounds of quality beef, and that should be all that you need for, for this um, small pot or, you know, a Haitian-sized pot of bouillon. Okay, so we've got seasoned salt, accent, Mrs. Dash, black pepper, onion powder, and then of course, um, we've always got the fresh garlic with the habanero pepper, which should be coming up in just a little bit. Let's take a look. Ooh, there we go. Um, but first, my mom's gonna add the, um, the powdered um, seasonings that are on this plate directly to the beef she's gonna simmer that all on oh yes it's already looking delicious i wish i was here this day actually i was not here um and my mom and sister recorded this footage for me thank you mom and thank you kat so they are going to add the garlic and the um, habanero pepper mixture as well into this. Remember, my mom, she's a bold and brave and she doesn't use gloves. But, you know, for all us other normal people, please use gloves because that can be hot. Let's mix that in. Make sure you mix it well. And then we're going to set it aside because we want these seasonings to really just marry and mingle into this dish. Before my mom is finished with the beef, she's adding half of a lime squeezed on there. It just gives another um, uh, pop of flavor and then it also helps with the acidity in the dish. Um, so that's excellent. And then what she's preparing to do, actually, Kat, can you give us a close up? Yes, she is going to give us a close up. Thank you, Kat. Um, she's just letting you see how um, the beef looks with all the seasonings on there. While my mom goes to get another, there it goes. This is called andouille. I know I'm not saying it right, all the Haitians out there, but it's like a seasoned pork. And we use this for um, the, the flavoring. And that's excellent. She's going to put a little bit in there um, so that we can mix it up. And then it'll be ready to put aside and, and rest so that those seasonings could really dive into that meat. While the meat is resting, my mom is gonna move on to the blue crabs, It's which is um, like the, the seafood layer of this dish. I love it. And she's just cleaning off the crabs. What she does is she's gonna use all the, um, the insides of that crab shell. Um, for flavoring, an additional flavoring um, to the dish. So she's not going to use the um, the crab shell. She's just going to take everything that's in there out, and then she'll clean the remaining part of the um, the crab, which is she'll take off the lungs and um, some of the other undesi undesirable parts that she doesn't want. She'll make sure to scrape all the the eggs because she likes the female crabs. Um, for flavoring and then she'll cut the um, not she won't cut but she'll snap the the crab in half and she'll move on to the next one I think she's got um, three or four crabs for this dish so let's just speed up and then we will catch her up catch up to my mom in a bit I forgot to tell you friends um, before my mom cleans off the crab she does um, put hot water over them. Now, it's just really brief hot water because the crabs are alive when she, um, uh, she gets them fresh. So she 
puts a little hot water on them so that they won't not, you know, snip at her. And then she takes them out real quick. And then she cleans them. So what are you doing, mom? Yeah, this is yucca. Uh, it's grated yucca. Yeah, grated yucca. And what are you going to be making with this? I'm going to do, I don't know how you call that in English, but it's called boy, boy in my language. Creole. And what's the ingredients that okay. you need to make it? Yes, but um, this yucca and it's already wet. As you see, it has water, and then um, you put a little bit salt. Because when I do boy, I always uh, if I do it with all-purpose flour, I always put it on the bowl. Like I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds and when you put um, water in the all-purpose flour and then you make the boil but since the yucca already wet I don't have to uh, put any water, water, water in there I put a little bit salt in there that's where's the matted flavor. Yes, I, mm -hmm. Then I put some some flour to make it hard. Make it more solid so it's not all too soft. Because of the you can already have water in there after you done grated it, but I don't have to put any water. water. The flour make it hard. Then you twist it. Well, you mix it all together and make sure that all the ingredients get into one another. Yes, make the dough, and then you do the boil. We'll then come back. We coming back a little bit later to show you what to do next. The result of the boy. If I can call it, I'm just gonna let it record now. Grated yucca, salt, flour, and if needed, a little bit of water. So what are you doing now? Mm. That's the boy. You're just forming it. Mm. Mm. Like, like the way I do it, uh, um, like some people. They just put them on the bouillon, like I'm going to show you later, when I'm going to put the boy on the bouillon. They just put it like that, without boil them first. Like me, I like when it's boil. For me, it cook better. Let's go. Now I'm going to put it on the water. I got your boil water. Yeah, keep your eye on the boy. Make sure that you stir it. You know, how long um, do you want them? As soon as you can put it in, you, you, you store it, that's it. Okay. You let it boil at least for um, half an hour, for 35 to 40 minutes. Oh. And after that, when you put the rest of the vegetable, like the yellow yam, I'm going to show you later. And then you put the boil in there. Okay. And the meat. Let's take a look at the beef and crabs. Well, we're just going to take the time to stir it to make sure that 
um, there's nothing burned on the bottom so that it stays looking nice and tasty. Mm -mm, look at those crabs cooking. Delicious. I do love myself some crabs, Mom. Okay, now I'm going to put the cold hook up here. Now? Now this. I call that queso. But I don't know how you call that in English. If Stacy was here, she would tell me. But she's at home. Now you're going to rinse it. Because sometimes it has a little bit warm worms and then gotta make sure that your food is clean worm free even for some protein no <laughs> no protein for us <laughs> you need another bowl yes i'm going to need another bowl oh what's the thing like that We're just gonna zoom in on this so that you guys, even though we don't know the word for it, that you can see what it is. But I'm sure once, I'm sure when Stacy comes, she'll let you guys know what it is. And what you do, you just clean them. Mm -hmm. And the good flavor on the bouillon. I'm making, call that soup. But we call it bouillon. Look at this. Yeah. Um, we've that. excellent. That's to me. Just reminding you, you might have to see that the colors change a little bit. We added a little tomato paste to it and let it, and then stirred it into it. And so please make sure you add your tomato paste into the meat mm -hmm. if you want and then just let it cook into it now I'm going to put the crisp and the poisson on the meat you're just going to put it on top and let it um, kind of steam into it the temperature will still be on high, right, Mom? Yes, not high. It's on eight. On eight, yes. It's a maybe like one below above high. It's less than high. Let's just say that. Okay, we're going to cover it a bit steam. At least for five minutes. That's the carrot we're going to put on the bouillon. That's the plantain. That's the yellow yam. Make sure we go to the direction. But I can see them. Mm -hmm. So I, I can see that it now. So basically, we're going to be peeling all the, what do you call that, Mom? Yum. Yeah, 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 the skin the stuff. The skin, mm -hmm. off. You peel the skin. Because that part's not edible anyway. Coming back to show you how it look like after. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really cut that little piece by piece and wash it 
with um, some lemon to take the slimy substance off of it. Thing on it. It's done peel. I cut them little by little in small pieces. Then you won't take too long to cook. And I put it in there. And that's the planting. my planting but since you're going to put it on the bouillon you don't have to cut it too big medium sized okay that's my carrot just gonna um, dice those up into small pieces however way you like is fine my daughter she's a carrot lover Stacy carrot no, never enough for her now we put some lemon because the yellow yam is so slimy, so the, the lemon take off the slimy thing. Slimy stuff on the yellow yam. Make it more smooth and desirable to eat. Mom and Kat, you've been doing a great job so far. Let me give you a break. Mom is going to rinse these off really quickly, and then she's going to prepare to add them to the bouillon. So we, we'll be back in just a bit. Here's the boy. We didn't forget about that. Um, they're about done, so Mom's going to turn off the stove, and she's going to take them over to the sink, and she's going to rinse them. Um, and then after that, she's going to start putting more things into the delicious bouillon. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, now we're putting a boiling water. So that's going to be the, what, mom? The sauce for the bouillon. The water to put in the bouillon. Now we're going to check on the... the wow. Make sure I can get all that deliciousness here. It's steamed up very nicely. It's going to mix well with the meat and crabs. So looking forward to adding. I've, we figured out what the boy means in English. It's dumpling. Right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the colors and how they blend well together. My goodness. Great job, Mom. We don't put oil on there because the meat already has its own little fat. That's the yam. Now I'm going to put it on the meat when the meat ready to put it in. Now I'm going to put the vegetables on the meat. the dumplings going in and then as soon as the water starts boiling we'll add that to the pot as well yes. the yeah. we'll be seeing you in a bit Boil 
already starting to boil because of the water that we boiled beforehand. All we know is that it's a hot pepper. It's hot. Now, I'm going to stir it. You have to have a sturdy hand to be able to stir that because uh, that's some, um, yeah, dig deep into that pot. So if anyone can do it, mom can. <laughs> Rich in color and flavor and smells. Delicious. Zoom in on that so you guys can get a nice, beautiful view. Mm -mm. How long are we going to keep it on high, Mom? Four. We don't know. Don't know? Whenever, whenever it's finished, whenever it's cooked, I cannot say. For every each is different, it's depending on the person cooking it and the amount that you're cooking as well. Oh, yeah, mom. Oh, look at that. Woo! Oh, look at that deliciousness, huh? Now I have to take off the um, pepper. I have a habanero. Yes, that's hotter, mother. You don't want the, the soup to be too hot. But... Oh, nice. Yes, yes. Mom, are you going to stir or are you just going to put the top back on? Let's give it a stir. Oh. You know, I remember um, uh, one of our family members saying that bouillon is only for sick people. I don't think it's only for sick people. It's for all occasions, isn't it, Mom? Yes. Absolutely. I remember in Haiti every Saturday they make bouillon. Every Saturday? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. It's good to give you strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of vitamins. Water. Oh, yes. All right, Mom. She's got her bowl ready. You got some yum? That's yum, right, Mom? Yes. Some beefs going in the plate. You want a little bit of everything. That makes it a, a good bowl of, of bouillon. Boy, the dumpling. Plantain. Put a little crab in there, mother. Oh, yes. The blue crab. Okay. Now we just need some broth. Some sauce. Add the crust. The water crust, yes. Oh, nice. She's making a nice bowl for herself. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right, Mom will be back in just a second with tasting. All right, Mom's let the bouillon cool down a little bit, and she's ready for tasting, aren't you, Mom? Yes. All right, let's dig in. It's been a long time since I've done it. I know, it's been a long time since you've made some bouillon. She went for the yum first. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, mm -mm. yum. Delicious. Some boy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Mm. Ooh, delicious. You know what? Mom's going to continue to enjoy this on her own. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our content, please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to have you part of a part of our family. And remember, life's better, well-seasoned. We'll see you next week, 730. Bye.